and I've always wanted to come and to the United States. I've heard so much about it. John O'Regan High School has made me. I am Brenda Shelton. I'm the principal at Reagan High School, and one of my responsibilities is to lead our cluster, which includes all of the schools that feed into Reagan High School. I think the, the biggest role that a teacher can play is someone who is going to inspire and instill a lifelong love of learning. It is such a joy to be a part of the Reagan cluster, both as a parent of former Reagan students and as a community member. One of the most unique things about our cluster is I find our whole entire group to be very cohesive. We've had a emphasis on vertical alignment between all the way up from elementary to middle to high school. And as administrators and teachers, we work together to see how we can best serve our students and our parents. I am always intrigued by the quality of teachers that we have at Reagan High School and the success that we're enabled to garner for all students, regardless of what their interests may be, whether it be fine arts, academics, athletics. We have um, experienced success for students, and that's really what it's all about. Every day we come with a heart's desire to serve our families, most importantly to serve our students. We believe in the Reagan Cluster. We believe what it can do for each and every child. And we really hope that as you consider schools that you will look very seriously at our area as we believe we do every day what we can do for each and every kid. When you hire for a teacher, you know, of course, we always want to make sure that they have the necessary cert uh, certifications, they've gone to the right schools and all that kind of thing. But in the reality, nobody ever asks me about where a teacher went to school. They don't ask me, you know, what certificates does the teacher hold? They assume all those things are gonna be taken care of, and they are. But when parents ask me about teachers, they always wanna know, do they care about my kid? Um, are they taking the extra bit of time to listen to how they were, uh, how their weekend was? Do they know something about them? And I stress that to our teachers here, be in the doorway of your room. And when kids come in on Monday, especially Monday morning, check in with them. You know, if you know that your student had a race over the weekend or a game or a, a recital or anything, ask them about it. You know, it only takes a few seconds out of our time to, to do that, but it connects with the kids. And whenever you have teachers, the really good teachers are always the ones that build relationships with their kids. Um, and that goes a long way. You know, a lot of people can teach content. A lot of people can teach to the test and do those things, but to really get to know kids and love kids, that's, that's really what makes a difference between a, a good teacher and a great teacher. I think the most important part for a teacher is to have the children truly believe that you care for them. I think once you have that relationship with them and they truly believe that, that anything that you ask them to do, that they're capable of doing. It's not just um, within the, these four walls that they're in, that always I see these teachers and they're outside the school, they're going to our, our students' events and um, they really do care the role of a staff member, any teacher, really, we have a, a lot, and we wear many different hats. Um, it's to teach them the curriculum that they need to know, but really, um, it's to be a parent when they need extra love, um, to be a coach when they need extra guidance, to be a cheerleader when they need encouragement, to really just kind of figure out what that child needs on that certain day and just adapt to it. and be there for them. The respect to the kids. Without any respect to the kids, they wouldn't be hired. We also take care of our kids. Like, high school can be so stressful. Um, and when you come in as freshmen and through your years, and we all know junior year is a beast, right? Um, and our kids, like, we also take care of our kids mentally. Like, when our kids, I've had so many kids um, that just the stress gets to them 
that I also want these kids coming up from middle school to know we're going to take care of them. Like we're watching out for them. Um, and we've got great counselors. We've got a great counseling staff that will take care of them. Um, and so that's, that's always, if it's your teacher, if you can't go to your teacher, you've got a counselor. I have several students that actually have sessions with Ms. Shelton. People don't realize that they, they actually go in and have like when something's going on, her first place is go to Michelle's office to see if she's there. Um, and so when you have an administration that your kids feel free to go and talk to when they're in a crisis, that says something about that school. So, um, I know they come to elementary school to learn subjects, but really I want them to go to middle school having. Um, you know, tools to just get through life, to be good people, to make good choices, and um, not just for themselves, but to project that to their friends and just be those leaders that um, we need. And another thing I would say that uh, we're a family. We take care of our, we take care of our kids, uh, we take care of each other, um, and just not just teach them the academics, but also socially, emotionally. A lot of leadership that happens here with these kids, um, something unbelievable. We have very compassionate kids here as well, that they're compassionate towards each other and then to the adults and things like that. We really want to educate kids using innovative technology to be lifelong leaders and global stewards. So with that allows them to choose paths in any career. They need to know how to work and communicate with other people, know when to be a leader, know when to follow a leader, and then to be a global steward, take care of their community, take care of the people around them, and even take care of the, of the greater world. And if we can do that and give them those skills, they can learn anything and do anything. Through the Peer Tutor Program and through the PALS Program, uh, through volunteering through Special Olympics, and I would love to see those programs grow as Reagan grows as well. Um, so here at Reagan, we prepare kids for college, um, so much so that when my kids, I always tell my kids, when you go to college, come back and visit me. Come back and tell me how it is. Um, and they, I very rarely have I ever had a kid come back and say college was harder. They say college is so easy. You know, we have it. I don't go to school all day. Um, I have time to study. Um, they really, no matter what subject they went into to study, whether it's business or science, uh, pre-med, they come back and they say that they're so well prepared. Um, that college is relatively easy. They talk about their roommate who can't handle it. You know, um, here they are, and it's it's a it's a cakewalk for them. When most people think of like their favorite part of school, it's usually like recess or something. But here, it's like there's so many things to choose from besides that because there's so many nice people, there's a lot of opportunities and stuff, and it really just like changes your view as a person because you get to learn so many new things. You know, we're one of few schools in Northeast ISD that um, started the UIL this year in, in conjunction with the Reagan High School down to our middle schools in all of our elementary schools in the Reagan cluster. We offered UIL classes for our students and we did a big meet here on campus, then we hosted one in the Reagan cluster. Um, and I think that's unique in itself. We're one of the few elementary schools that's been able to do that for our kids. My first language is Spanish and without the dual language program, I, I would have, um, it would have been hard for me to have any, to be in an English class. And the kids have opportunities to excel in any chance that they can get in, in whether it's fine arts or sports or academics or just getting in groups and getting involved with, with other students that have the same interest. Um, here at, at Lopez, you will find a place for you. Um, and that's another thing, Reagan has so many clubs, like our nerdiest kid to our biggest athlete, we've got a club for them. Like there, there's something to be socially active at Reagan and I tell my kids to my new kids who come in here from someplace else I always tell them I said let's look at the let's look at the list of clubs let's find something for you to do you know if you're going home playing video games we've got something else for you to do like be involved um, and so we've got something here for everybody um, there's all kinds of clubs that we, we kind of cover the gamut we are a notch above I've had kids come from other schools within the district and um, they have a hard time catching up with our kids um, it's just something that we start them off when they get here and they know what we expect. We expect the best. Um, and we, you know, all four years that we have our kids here, that we, we take them just a notch higher, kind of. Safety is a huge concern for all schools. Um, I think we're all aware of things that have happened. And, you know, you can put things in place, and we do. We're going to have perimeter fencing. We have locks on the doors. We have limited access to our school. 
but nothing is going to replace uh, the well-trained set of eyes of everybody involved. Uh, we have a police officer that's here um, every day. Um, even our custodians know. They'll come let us know if something doesn't seem right. Um, our teachers are always vigilant. We check doors. You know, we do all the little things to keep any big things from happening. I think really just making that connection with the child, building those relationships allows them to feel safe um, and excited to come to school. Um, we have a lot of support staff, not just of our teachers, but we have our counselors and we have you know, administrators and, and, um, and a lot of support staff that if there is something where the students are, don't feel safe, that we do act on that. So our students do feel safe because a safe, you know, safe student is gonna be a great learner. So we try to do that where the kids feel that they can talk to us, that they, when they're within these walls, that everything's gonna be okay and they can trust in us. And then in turn, they will excel and they will do the best that they can. I think just anything I would do for my own children is what I would do for them. I always, you know, make sure that if something isn't going on safe, uh, I would try to, you know, protect them like I would my own. Canyon Ridge is a really safe school though. We make sure all our doors are locked and our classroom doors are locked and um, we feel very safe here. Safety really begins in the classroom setting with our teachers establishing a culture of inclusion that welcomes our, all students. And um, many of our classrooms have classroom meetings, which can be a forum for students to talk about things that are going on in their lives and things that they're concerned with. And, and this is an opportunity for our teachers and our students to come together as a community um, to feel safe and supported. As I got older, um, in middle school, I learned about Special Olympics and started volunteering through that. And at Reagan, I have been able to peer tutor, which is um, hanging out in the special education classrooms. And I've been able to volunteer um, in the special ed community. And I am so grateful to Reagan for um, supporting me and helping me find my passion. Um, you know, me personally, uh, I have a, a older brother that's disabled. And so I knew from a very young age that I was going to work with, um, with kids. Now, I anticipated working with special ed, and that's what I did when I was a teacher. I was a special education teacher. Um, but what I've kind of come to realize in all my years of teaching and being an administrator is all the, every kid has something about them that's special. You know, we talk about special needs kids, and we are obviously, we understand what that is, and, and those kids are very special to me. But... Um, in the school vernacular, we talk about differentiation. What do you do to help every kid learn? And the old days when I was in school, we didn't have that. It was pretty much 30 kids in a classroom. You did this, you did this, and you were, you were done. Um, I think what makes Bush special, and a lot of schools do this, but Bush does this, we make sure every single kid has a way of being successful. And because success looks different, just like we don't evaluate students on how tall they are, for example, because that's a little bit out of your control. All the students are going to be different. And our teachers, that ones that really do the best job, will find what kids need to be successful and help that particular student get to be uh, successful. One of the things I'm very proud about at Hardy Oak is the inclusion of everybody. We've talked to earlier about the kids being involved in committees and clubs, and we want a, a feeling of belonging and our special ed students, we're so proud of them because they are inclusive. And any, we just recently had our Special Olympics, and anytime that the children in the specialized support of the ALE classrooms, they go to bowling or track meet or anything, the entire school makes signs, we have a pep rally, we get out in front of the school, when they're coming back, we have the bus ride around, the kids uh, are cheering, and you look up and there's a sense of, just so proud of everybody coming together and I think really that's what Hardy Oak is about. We support everyone whether it is a sickness or it's a success or it's a struggle. Everybody's there and, and I just am so proud of the way the special ed students thrive and uh, we have at the Hoopla every month. Some of them are, are nominated and they have to go out in front of the school. So programs, PTA programs, you'll see our specialized students up there singing and just they're one of the, one of the teammates. We have opportunities for, um, for our special needs population. Um, just a good example, yesterday they did the, the Special Olympics and the whole school rallies behind that. Everybody was out to do the big send-off party and the welcome party and they all make signs and, and they're, it really is a least restrictive environment. They're in the classrooms. 
with everyone else as much as possible, which is always nice and always a part of the celebrations and the parades and everything. And I feel like it's, um, I feel like no one here has a label. I feel like everybody's invited to participate in whatever the activity is, which is nice because it's all one big family. So whether it's in your classroom or even students outside of the classroom, everyone just kind of goes above and beyond to uh, make sure that all of the students feel like they have a voice and that they're heard and that they are a part of what we're doing here. I think the GT program in Northeast is extremely useful and I think that the students get the best by being encouraged to be creative and to think outside the box. I think what makes Bush a very special middle school is the cluster that we're in. Uh, we all feed to the Reagan High School, which is you know, one of the top high schools in San Antonio easily. Um, but I've had a chance to visit a lot of the elementary schools. Um, and of course, being here at Bush Middle School, I know what kind of programs we have in place. I know the extracurricular programs. I know the things that we have built in that are unique to um, this cluster. Great kids, great teachers, and a great community. If you ever wanted to see uh, what makes a school really special, look at the volunteers. Look at the people that come in to volunteer, the PTA. Go to a football game, go to a girls basketball game. Look at the parents in the crowd. We have packed houses. Um, the teachers do special things here. We have robotics. We have things that not every school can do. Um, our choir band orchestra are routinely the top in their class. So while Bush Middle School is a great school and I highly recommend students that live in this area to attend Bush, we're also feeding to a great high school in Reagan High School. Our community is, is very strong over here as well. So I think Wilderness Oak is unique in that way. Um, whenever we ask something, it's just an outpouring of uh, support from everybody. Our teachers here at Wilderness Oak are incredible. Um, I am blessed to be working with them every day that I come here, so. As I started to grow in my teaching, I thought one way to kind of increase my reach and to even have more opportunities um, for relationships and learning was to become a principal and it's probably the best job that I've ever had. I just, I'm amazed every day that I get to do this, I get paid to do this. Um, I love being here and I love coming to work and the kids are what it's all about. But with that comes support from parents and the staff members. So it is really a, a, just a group effort that I just appreciate all, all of the stakeholders. I think because I live in this community, it's great because I feel like um, it's just a big family. And um, I don't know, just because I've been here recently and have been here the longest, I just feel loved and it's just a great place to be.